Hello, uh, welcome to a TV show review. Um, I do not uh, have a subscription to the channel Epix, E-P-I-X, but one of my friends uh, know that I'm a huge fan of um, espionage, spy, thriller. Um, so he DVR the show for me and I got a chance to binge through all 10 episodes um, this past week. Um, Epix, E-P-I-X, is I guess um, a cable channel that's joint venture by a whole bunch of uh, movie studio. I, w I have never heard of Epix. I was not aware of the show, but now that I have seen the show, I enjoyed it and I recommend it. Berlin Station. It's the CIA station in Berlin. Um, as usual, I enjoy seeing a show um, that is shot outside of the U.S. because it give it just give me and other viewers a chance to see different setting, uh, different backdrops, and uh, I always enjoy anything that is shot in Europe. Um, so this is, you know. The, the the majority of the cast of this show are well known, well seasoned actors that all of us have seen in many shows and movies. So, uh, before watching the first episode, I knew that I will get solid acting out of the cast. That being said, I was not familiar with the leading. A male actor of the show. I uh, I, sh I should have write down his name, but the lead actor of the show, um, Daniel, is his name. I can't recall ever seeing him before, but he did a good job. Like like I said, it's a solid acting job all around. Um, now the show is about a leak. Okay, the big the the big premise of the show is there's a leak somewhere in the, organ in the organization um, that exposed a lot of the bad things that the CIA did or have done recently all over the world and that put agents in danger it exposed the secret of the secret identity of agents so so the show premise is there's a leak and the CIA working with German counterpart is trying to stop the leak and I must say that for the first five episodes the first five which is the first half of the season it's I, I wouldn't say it was slow but it, it is a slower pace this is not the espionage kind of show that's like Jason Bourne or other fast-paced, high-octane, a lot of action, agent that know martial arts or big gunfights or big car chase. It's not that. It's more or less in the same kind of um, more like say Homeland. Okay, for those that watch my review or know me. I'm a huge fan of Homeland. I have said this many times that it is my favorite espionage show on TV, maybe ever. Uh, and this show is more like Homeland than, say, 24 or The Bone Identity. Okay, it's 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 not high octane. The the people in this show are real people. They are not. <laughs> There is no martial art uh, skills or high octane car chase. None of that. Uh, but the what I thought was interesting. This is a spoiler free review. Okay, so I'm not gonna give away anything of the story. But I thought it was odd in the first in the very beginning of the show in that they reveal the leak. Like who is a person that that leak the information to the press. 
I thought that was odd. But um, the second half of the season, episodes 6 through 10, provide the extra twist and turn of any good espionage show that I expected. So it's for the first five episodes, I would give the, the show a seven. It was good, but at time, slow. Um, although good acting, solid acting all around, but the last five episodes of the season really picked up and the twist and turn did surprise me. Okay, I, 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 I'm glad they did it that way because when I watched the first four or five episodes, I'm just like, why did they do it this way? I keep asking myself, why did they reveal the source of the leak so early in the season? You have 10 episodes. Why are you doing this? By the end of the season, well, by the end, it, it makes sense and I really thoroughly enjoy it. I give the show an 8 out of 10. So if you get a chance to watch this on DVR like I did, or I'm not sure where you can find it, but if you can, and if you're a fan of uh, espionage, spy show like The Americans, Homeland, this is a show for you, okay? And that's it. That's my review for The Berlin Station. Bye-bye.